gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Jessica and Jake. You have come here to share this commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Jess and Jake to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. Jess has been my best friend for 30 years, my go-to girl. We've always been a duo, and at times I'd say it's because we were all each other had. But for at least the last 10 years, it's been 100% by choice. I've always been a tad protective of my little sister. Our personalities mesh perfectly, but I can say that she's consistently been my rock. When we met Jake, he was quiet, which in a house of loud people isn't hard to be. It took a while to really get to know him. Throughout the storied friendship of Jake and I, we've had countless adventures, grand times, and an endless supply of memories. I've had a multitude of my most enjoyable memories, not only with Jake, but with Jess and Jake together. The happy memories of experience with these two are endless. There are many situations and occurrences I've experienced with Jess and Jake that have caused me to know that these two are meant to be. Her smile on her face today says it all. She found her other half. You deserve the world, and I'm so honored to be here today as you make this commitment to each other. Welcome family, friends, loved ones. Jess and Jake, thank you for your presence here today and now ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support for their decision to be married. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choices you make to stand together as life mates and partners. Two people in love do not live in isolation. Their love is a source of strength with which they may nourish not only each other, but as the world around them. And in turn, we, their community of friends and family, have a responsibility to this couple. By our steadfast care, respect, and love, we can support their marriage and the new family they have created here today. We've come to the point of our ceremony where you're going to say your vows to one another. Please read the vows you have both written for each other. I, Jessica, take you, Jake, to be my husband. I will share my life with yours and build our dreams together, support you through times of trouble, and rejoice with you in times of happiness. I vow to honor and respect you for all that you are and will become. I promise to challenge you and accept challenges from you. I will offer you love and affection, all of my warmth and protection. It's just you and I against the world. I, Jake, take you, Jessica, to be my wife. I will share my life with yours and build our dreams together. Support you through times of trouble and rejoice with you in times of happiness. I vow to honor and respect you for all that you are and become. 
I promise to challenge you and to accept challenges from you. I will offer you my love and affection, all of my warmth and protection. It is just you and I against the world. If you are able to keep the vows you make here today, not because of any religious or civic law, but out of the desire to love and be loved by another person fully, without limitation, then your life will have joy and the home you establish will be a place in which you both will find direction of your growth. A ring is an unbroken circle with ends that have been joined together and it represents your union. It is a symbol of infinity and your infinite love. When you look at these rings in your hands, please remember of this moment, your commitment and love you now feel for each other. Jessica, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love with the promise to love you today, tomorrow, always and forever. And now Jess, place the ring on Jake's finger and repeat after me. Jake, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Jake, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love with the promise to love you today, tomorrow, always and forever. Do you, Jake, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Jessica, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. They two mesh. They're perfect. And she's the happiest she's ever been. By the authority vested in me by the great state of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jake, you may kiss your bride. Now we can go, right? <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for being part of this intimate, perfect day. Who would have thought Jake asking me for a ride home would have developed into the most endearing friendship if not one of the most important relationships of my life. I've had a multitude of my most enjoyable memories, not only with Jake, but with Jess and Jake together. The happy memories of experience with these two are endless. Throughout my friendship with Jake and Jess, there are numerous things I'm grateful to have experienced and observed. I am eternally grateful for the unconditional loyalty, camaraderie, friendship, dare I say, love, that Jake, someone I proudly call my brother, has shown me throughout our relationship. I cannot be happier for both Jake and Jess to have achieved this level of love, commitment, and companionship many people may spend a lifetime searching for. Faith, trust, and acceptance will be the foundation of an abiding, deepening relationship. 